Arena Sabalenka versus Coco Goff is the first semi-final for the Ladies Wuhan Open for 2024. Both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Goff entered the tournament as the number four seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Tomova. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, she take on Kostyuk, the 13th seed. And again, no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-1. In the quarterfinals, she take on Lynette, who had taken out both Samson over and Kazakina along the way. But again, no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6-love, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number one seed. We get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Siniakova. And after a couple of close sets, would get through in straights. 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, she take on Putin Seva, who had just beaten Vekic in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Sabalenka would fight back to win. 1-6, 6-4, 6-6 love. In the quarterfinals, she take on Fred, who had taken out Navarro and Adaj Maya along the way. There's no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. These two played seven times before, with Goff leading 4-3 in the head-to-head. -head. However, Sabalenka did win their only match this year that was in the Australian Open semifinals. All the way back in January, it was a straight sets win. Of course, Sabalenka went on to win the title. However, Goff did win that US Open final last year in that epic match where she came back from a set down. So the way that Goff's been playing with the confidence she's gotten over the last couple of weeks, gotta think she's a big chance of winning this one. Goff's gonna win this one. She needs to serve well and she needs to make sure she limits the errors. She's been so good over the last couple of weeks, but she has had her moments, especially last week in Beijing where she played a couple of matches where she didn't play well enough, but she got over the line anyway because her opponents weren't playing that good. Sabalenka's not gonna give away as many errors. I mean, she hit something like 40 or 45 winners in her last match. So if Goff's going to win this one, she needs to play really, really well. And that starts with the serve. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and just keep hitting those winners like she's been doing all week. She's played so well, especially in that quarterfinal match against Freire. No errors in that one. Limited the errors. Massive, massive winners. And we know Goff's going to get everything back. So she's going to have to be patient as well, Sabalenka, if she's going to get through Goff. Great matchup. I can't believe we haven't seen this match more often this year. But the way things are going this week, I have to go with Sabalenka in three sets. I reckon Goff might get, he might get the first set, but I think Sabalenka will end up getting it in the end. I don't know if Goff's going to be able to keep her momentum throughout the entire match. And with Sabalenka, you can't make mistakes. So I think it's going to be Sabalenka. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.